It's time once again for the real people multi game. Solitaire Mega Tournament. Blue Baby is having a bad day. But the Shadow Lord is brightening it to taking his cares away. Moving towards this Roadrunner. Uh, lefty the Blue Baby gathered his people all in this bubble. And then he moved the Shadow Lord, and that's all he could do on his turn. But that gave him a little bit of pleasure. Cause he thinks the Shadow Lord is gonna stomp down Vigo next turn. Smiley, what have you done? You haven't covered something ancient and found yourself a new diplomat will teams be jealous and in the ruins you have drawn together shadows you have taken that darkness and sent it at Vigo yes the shadow lord cometh Vigo the shadow lord comes for you Never you mind, it's the invincible darkness. The Shadow Lord must stay at home. That's right, I made a little error. The Shadow Lord wasn't supposed to move. So I just went back and had uh, Lefty the Blue Baby move the invincible darkness, and then Smiley move the invincible darkness onto Vigo's space. It is amazing. The miracle of this life, it is amazing. Vigo, miracle of this life. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like the invincible darkness was not so invincible. Vigo had just enough stuff. Uh, well, actually, Roadrunner did in order to defeat it. First, Roadrunner had used this die to use ranged fire attack. That did six. Um, it's not resistant to fire because the Invincible Darkness is icy. Uh, and then she had to use both of these. Now, how she was able to do this in order to finish it off, the reason, well, there's two things I have to tell you. Uh, she could use the mana draw to draw an extra die from here, and then she had a crystal from last turn uh, that she could use to activate this one. That gave her six more ranged attack. That gets divided by two. That's plus three. So then we have six plus three. That's nine. Um, the resistance was eight. Uh, Smiley decided to divvy up the two remaining spaceships. So she was able to beat the Invincible Darkness. Wow. That's great. I think that's gonna that's gonna up her reputation to defeat the invincible darkness because it's supposed to be invincible, but it only ups it one. So I'm sure there's probably some rule that you can only make one level in a given fight, but I'm gonna ignore that. And if there is a rule like that, I'm not gonna look for it. I would rather they're not. So Roadrunner jumped two levels there. That was huge. Normally. In regular Mage Knight, you're not going to be able to take on something like this so early in the game. But since she did have this fellow here, which is a unit you don't get until later in the game, uh, plus kind of a perfect storm of cards, she was able to do it. I uh, got incredibly lucky. Uh, it's a little fuzzy, little, um, little sketchy, because maybe they wouldn't have decided to move the Invincible Darkness there. Uh, especially since, you know, they can see this ranged fire attack. Um, but we'll just chuck it up to, to inexperience and foolishness, or, you know, maybe they thought they were able to do it, or maybe Lefty's um, emotions cloud them. And also, you know, there's a lot each of the players are going to be thinking about. They're not going to be totally uh, as calculating as maybe they could in a, in a game with less going on. So Roadrunner has leveled up twice. She got Flight, so that's gonna let her, in this game, she can just skip to any of these without having to go in the middle if she wants with her main person. The skills are non-transferable. They're only useful, usable by the main uh, master. And then she also got Learning. Did I say Learning already? Learning, and Learning, I like this one a lot. Learning lets you get more 
things without having to be somewhere to get those things. So that's a, that's a really useful one. More of these cards. Great. Bless my Parsons chariot. It has been a happy day. We have lit up the indecipherable darkness And now folks come to stay Oh, folk, that mighty oak Has come out of the darkest ruins To join the team Ding! That's going to put Roadrunner as the person to beat, I think, right now. Not only is she on level three, which is really far ahead, but she just got herself a merchant in folk, and that's going to give her a, a source of spaceships. So she could really start um, doing well, but she also needs to start watching her back a little bit more. Interesting note, maybe not interesting, but it's interesting note that there's no, no one can move shadows right now until another one of those black chips is turned over. Uh, the reason being is you can't move a shadow unless it has spaceships. The way they get spaceships is those black chips are turned over and that uh, enables them to move because they're going to get some spaceships, presumably, except for the case of Marshall Lynx. Marshall Lynx is going to be stuck until someone comes to slay him. Brutal Marshall Lynx out in your old space pod up in the sky all alone ready to come crashing down let burn hard come and liberate you from this old old life marshal lynx up on your cloud, come crashing down. Burn hard. Burn hard. Burn hard. Bix. Good day, aged one. Won't you please join the diplomatic corps of Air Master Bix Beetleman? Our cause is just, our morals are true and we would see freedom for the universe. You drive a hard bargain, young one. I would be happy to join the diplomatic corps of one so respectable and forthright as Air Master Bix Beetleman. Lefty the blue baby Up there in your water tower looking down What do you think of this world that leads to your ruin? Oh, will this be your waterfall? Um, lefty the blue baby, your waterfall Oh, up on your water tower, waterfall must all the towers come crashing down? The roar of the waterfall crashing down. What must Lefty the Blue Baby be thinking at this point? The game has just begun, but it seems like his, his the victory that was so, seemed a 50-50 in his grasp anyway, but he thought he could crush Roadrunner. It might be torn away from him uh, by just a few few bad events. I don't know. He's planning though. He's drawing the spaceships towards his power rings and he is uh, deploying them to his power ring so that he can deploy his forces and hopefully stop Roadrunner. But he must bide his time. He must not appear strong too soon because if he does, the others might turn against him when it's her that he wants them to turn against. We'll have to find out next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament Protestant Leg Star Masters!